today. As we look at our local three radar network here, we can see we do have rain showers and snow showers across upper Michigan. And I'll put this into motion here. You can see it's coming in from the northwest. A little bit of a lake effect side of this to the precipitation today. But as we close on in here, we can see that we do have precipitation scattered about as rain and snow showers through Marquette County back into Elger County. So locations from Marquette back towards Chatham over towards Munising Shingleton and then over to Grand Marais seeing some rain and snow showers and then tilt you back over to the eastern UP. We do have some snow showers going through Newberry over towards Paradise and then eastward towards the Sioux. As we widen out the view here, I want to point out we do have some clearing back off towards the west, back from about Grand Marais, Minnesota, back along the Wisconsin-Michigan border and back towards Green Bay. This is all clearing to the west, and we will start to see some of this clearing move in as we go into tonight. As we look at our local three future casts, this is our in-house computer model. We can see that we do have the rain showers and snow showers in spots that will continue on. And then as we go into tomorrow, we're going to have clearing skies across the UP from west to east, so all of us should at least see some sunshine. As we go into tomorrow night, we'll have clear skies, but increasing clouds are back for Thursday, and we're looking for rain chances to return as well. Temperatures, it's a chilly late October day. We do have temperatures in the 30s and 40s, 37 downtown Marquette at the Coast Guard, 42 Escanaba, 37 for Sawyer, 39 also Houghton County Airport for Houghton, 41 Copper Harbor, and 38 degrees Schoolcraft County Airport for Manistique. As we look at your four Forecast for tonight, we'll have scattered snow showers and maybe some rain could mix on in. Look for low temperatures in the 20s. There could be, and there will be some spots that is along the Great Lakes that will be around the 30 degree mark or into the 30s for low temperatures. For Wednesday, the sunshine is back. Look for highs generally in the 40s, but some spots may stay in the 30s. We'll have partly sunny to mostly sunny skies, so we'll have that clearing from west to east on Wednesday across the UP. Here's your seven day forecast for Thursday. The rain is back though. Look for high temperatures in the 40s and then several rain chances do continue for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Nothing heavy is expected and nothing really big that's going to add on up, but it's going to be nuisance rain shower chances for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And unfortunately, that does include Friday night, including round one of the high school football games. And then as you can see into the weekend, we'll go. We go. We continue with the rain shower chances, but I think temperatures do stay above freezing to the point where Thursday through Sunday, it's just a cold rain and then Maybe we cooled off a little bit where some snow could mix in early next week. You can always get your latest weather forecasts on our website.